Call it Paul Bubba Sparks. Booty, yeah, booty, booty, rockin' everywhere. Booty, 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 rockin' everywhere. YouTube is Desi and I'm back with another video y'all let's put this up a little bit because I look crazy all right so y'all in this video I basically want to talk about three different things one why did I become a medical assistant two why didn't I go to nursing school first and three why I don't want to become a doctor so let's get right into the video y'all and these are going to be my experience as far as for me being a personal medical assistant um in real life this is hopefully some experience uh, or advice I can give to the upcoming medical assistants by the way to any upcoming medical assistants I'm hoping you do good as far as for schooling um continue doing good as far as for your grades and um also shoot and strive for um president's list and dean's list and just do your best y'all all right let's get right into the video all right so if y'all catch me looking down it's only because i wrote notes i like to be prepared y'all y'all already know me all right so the reasons on why i became a medical assistant one i'm a people person i love you know pretty much getting to know people um you never know people's situation as far as for in life so um i feel like i'm always have that vibes where i'm able to kind of like bring that out of people um you know what i'm saying even with being in the medical assistant field uh it's some patients that i came across that pretty much thought off with being quiet and now that i'm so used to them now they even like can even crack a smile sometimes here and there so um definitely because i'm a people person i love being around people um i just like to feel that energy from certain people you may get sometimes negative energy or positive energy but it'll all come all about um later on in the future so definitely that also i like helping people out i'm always one of those people that like to kind of like help out and with medical assistant field you're always helping out whether there's either taking vitals um i know one thing a good thing about my practice with working at um family practice i'm sorry with working at um pain management like the weight or even with some people that i know they have a history of high blood pressure i always just tell them to do like a breathing exercise before i end up taking it like just just think of a happy place like it's not that hard just think of a happy place so different techniques works but I definitely do like helping out people and also like you know some people come in there and they just want to talk to you they just want to tell you how they're going on in life and stuff like that so I definitely you know I'm always one of those people that like to listen and stuff like that everybody have their issues in life and with me working around a lot of elderly people you know they just want me somebody to talk to so I'm always there to be a helping shoulder also I like the healthcare field as well um I started off with um when before I go into um medical assistant schooling I was a phlebotomist at um bpl and pretty much i was at a plasma center so started off there i also got my experience as far as for receptionist there as well too um being a donor floor tech and a phlebotomist all in three and also um then i end up going to um you know finishing medical assistant school and after i finished that pretty much got to the field as far as for medical assistant got my experience as far as for OBGYN family practice um and now pain management so i love the healthcare field i just always feel like it's always ways to advance with and um it's always a good look so you know definitely kudos to that also, I like having my weekends off. I love jobs where in the medical field where you have your weekends off because I'm a family person. I love having my time off. And I just feel like, you know, you already work Monday through Friday. It's almost like an eight hour shift. Not Sometimes I can push for a nine hour shift as well too. So having weekends off is always a plus. And last but not least, um, the reason why I chose to become a medical assistant because it's one close, one step closer to becoming a, um, a nurse. So I definitely like that. It's one step closer into the nursing field. And um, that's pretty much what brings me to my next question on why didn't I go to school first to become a nurse? So let's get right into it. So I'm gonna name three reasons on why I didn't go to school as far as for becoming a nurse first. Um, one, I want to get as much experience as possible for jumping straight to nursing. Um, like I said, I started off with a uh, phlebotomist and now a uh, medical assistant, and then I want my last step to be uh, becoming a nurse. I definitely do feel like the more that you rank, rack up, the more experience you get with things. Um, like I said, with receptionist too, being able to get receptionist experience as far as for medical uh, receptionist. Um, also, I'm getting better at like typing as far as for without looking at the computer as well too, so I definitely feel like that's a plus. Um, I just like to get as much experience as I can so I can have different titles where I can be like, okay, I was an experience as far as for phlebotomist. I also had experience as far as for medical assistant. Some people even have experience as far as for um, CNA, as far as for certified nursing assistant and stuff like that. So I try to get as many titles as you can before just jumping straight into the gun for uh, nursing. Also, another reason why I didn't go to nursing school first is because you need money as far as for nursing school. Um, I was lucky to get a grant as far as for medical assistant school um, for nursing school. I'm still trying to try out for a couple of uh, scholarships as far as for that. But I know a couple of um, places that does tuition and reimbursement. 
Um, I definitely do have a couple of other ways where I feel like I could probably get in school for free, so I'm gonna try to check that out. But I definitely feel like um, if you kind of feel as if you don't have a hold on getting into school for free for nursing, just try to find more resources out there because there are plenty of resources out there. Don't just be so quick to jump because loans are no joke, y'all. Like for real, loans will literally follow you. So you want to make sure that you um take care of that. And like I say, uh. It wouldn't be a problem if I would have had a scholarship. Y'all would have been zoomed off to Dalton Nursing School. All right, and the last one, um, I'm still deciding as far as for either LPN or RN. I'm more so leaning towards the LPN um, part because one, LPN takes only two years to complete. Also, LPN is more so a clinical um, side. Um, with RN, you do both administrative work and clinical work. I don't mind that, don't get me wrong, I don't mind that. But however, I, do, I definitely wanna take one, the shorter route, Two, I mainly want to focus on clinical work because, like I said, I too much get aggravated when it comes to administrative work. I don't like all those phone calls and stuff like that. It just gets really aggy. So, um, yeah, I'm more so leaning towards LPN. But, um, however, a lot of my friends are just like, just go straight for RN, just go straight for RN. Um, it's my choice, so I'm still trying to see. I like to watch a lot of other YouTube videos as far as for either their experience for LPN or RN. So, um, yeah, just a lot to take in. I just don't want to be so quick to jump to the gun. But I do know for a fact I do want to become a nurse by 2020, 21. 2021 so yeah y'all stay tuned as far as for that and last but not least let's get right into it as far as for why i don't want to become a doctor i did however already put a video as far as for why i didn't want to become a doctor so i'm gonna keep this short as far as for you guys so yeah And last but not least on why I don't want to become a doctor. One, it's too stressful. Um, but working in pain management with being like right beside side by side with the doctor and being his assistant, I'm telling you y'all, he'd be so stressed out. Like he gets through it. Trust me, he gets through it. He's a smart guy. But it's like a million things we're, doc we're, we're constantly telling the doctor like, you got to do this. Don't forget to do that. Don't forget to refill this. Don't forget to refill that. This person wants to get the MRI done. This person wants to get a prior authorization for a procedure. This person needs an injection. It's like so many things running through your mind. I would have been like, oh my gosh, like what? What would you just say? Like, oh my gosh. So I definitely feel like it's real stressful. Also, you're working 24-7, y'all. When I tell you like with the doctor, he's constantly working 24-7. With the practice that I work at, a lot everybody's in there is um, from India, so you know they all have a different culture. Um, one thing I can say is I do definitely like their culture because it's very different from um, with my family. But however, they don't really celebrate as much on um, holidays, so we're constantly working. One thing I can say is he gave us Christmas off. They don't celebrate Christmas, but they definitely gave us Christmas off. But I definitely don't think we're going to be getting any days off until we get to the major holidays, as far as for. Um, you know with thanksgiving or uh christmas in the meantime we will be working for fourth of july mother's day father's day but one thing about the doctor that we work for whenever you need a day off or something like that he's always willing to grant it because at the end of the day we're a smaller practice so he knows how to do everything but however it's like um if we need something he'll be willing to grant it but i definitely do feel like you're working 24 7 and that's just something i just don't want to do um last thing as far as for uh me not wanting to become a doctor is because it's a lot of money don't get me wrong it's a lot of money you get into the field but however i want to be able to spend time with my family and i just want to make sure that i'm stress free as far as for that i feel like it's always an incident going on when becoming a doctor you got to find ways to fix certain things if something goes wrong in the practice you got to be able to fix it um and it's just always something you got to keep your mind updated on you got to keep your mind updated on the insurance the software um the e-clinicals everything like that so it's just it's just a lot of stress i feel like that would have been put on me so i definitely want to stop either at being um a nurse as far as for my um, medical career but in the meantime medical assistant does do me good so uh those are three things that i figured out would share with you guys so if you guys have any questions or comments or anything like that leave it in the description box below because i will make sure that i check them don't forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel y'all and don't forget to be great y'all because guess what this is words from your favorite medical assistant peace y'all